Hello, in today's video I will show you how to import unique content to your website using uh, the Wayback Machine website that stores the entire history of almost the entire in internet. Using this website, if you can find uh, some defunct uh, websites that don't operate anymore but had sometime in their history some unique and cool content, you can use it and uh, repost it to your blog. So, like this, I found the VP Corner website, which doesn't work anymore, like as you see. But if we check it in the Wayback Machine, you have to enter the URL here. And uh, let's go to 2020 and let's check this snapshot these all are snapshots of the website you will see that the website appears like it was back then uh, and because of this we can copy this URL and paste it in the Crawlomatic plugin plugin okay and the plugin will import content from here. Now we have to configure the plugin to tell it what exactly to import. For this we have to inspect, check the uppermost class that the, contains the link that we want to crawl. So this is the main page of the blog and there's our posts. So we have to uh, get the automatically get the uh, the link for each post as you can see here each post will be contained in the HTML div class and we must copy the class name this one and paste it in the plugin here select class and paste it here uh, the class name seed page crawling query string what should we do next is to check this box to not import things from the main page and uh, next thing we should click here to open the post that we want to crawl and check things here the class is post also here so the class is post which contains the entire content of the article we want to import and this should be selected here class and post here okay one more thing that we should do is to uh, strip contents by regex this uh, this is the regexerc.com uh, the wayback machine adds its uh, link to each links from the page so what you should do is strip this part of the uh, of the link to be sure that it doesn't uh, point back to the original article also alternatively you can save settings here alternatively you can strip links from generated post content check this and also be sure to uh, copy images from content locally these two settings will assure you that the content will not link back to the wayback machine so you have to strip links and copy images from content locally now let's save settings here. Let's head back to our rule settings. Let's uh, delete this rule because I created this earlier and let's run this to see what uh, it will import to our blog. To check our blog it is empty now. Importing may take a bit longer in this way because 
a web archive doesn't respond always instantly. Web archive doesn't respond always instantly, so patience uh, for this. But eventually it will be imported. So let's check now things. Importing can take uh, one or two minutes depending on the uh, responsiveness of the uh, webarchive.org page but let's see so in this way this article will be fully imported to your blog with uh, related uh, content St uh, links will be stripped images will be copied locally and everything will be exactly like here it will reproduce the exact content of your page of that page on your page so let's uh, wait a bit more sometimes web archive really takes long to respond this is why the plugin sometimes can take longer to run especially if you import from webarchive.org but eventually it, it finished okay now let's refresh our blog and as you can see a new post was created images are copied locally this is only an example as you can see images are copied locally there are no links f to point back to the source website and this is all I wanted to show you like this uh, you can import content from any website that you find uh, regardless if it is existing or not so also it is if it is existing you can still uh, check its snapshots and import content that was uh, prior on it and also this is a very 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 good way to get unique content to your website all you have to do is find websites that don't exist anymore and import content from them and normally use Crawlomatic to automize the, this process and like this you will get daily new articles that are unique on the internet without with zero effort from your site okay this is all I wanted to show you right now. Until next time, bye bye.